someone other than the true and living God before the true and living God. And so it could be your career. It could be your family. It could be uh, th that statue that you bought of Buddha. That, 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 that African statue that you go and, and, and you get before it and you bow down to it. That's, your, that's where you say you go and pray. But that's not the true and living God. Can't hear, can't see, it can't do nothing for you. But God said in, in, in um, what is it? Exodus 20 and 3. He said that we are not to have any other gods before him. And that's with the little g. And it has an S on the end, God. So that means some, some of us must be having more than one idol. But we should have, and I'm talking about myself too, we should have the true and living God first place in our lives. Because he even told us, he said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all this other stuff that we're desiring, that we want, and we'll get it. In due time, because when you when you really seeking now, I'm, and I'm just speaking from experience, because I ain't always sought the Lord, but I give God the glory. That you know that that stuff ain't really on your mind. You ain't really you know trying to go and pursue and get it, because you you really gonna have God. You got God in your heart, and so we know that. A house, a car, and, and, and to have the things that, and, and, and to be caught up in the cares of this world. When you, when you know the real truth, when you know that Jesus is coming back and that none of this stuff down here is going to matter, only what we do for the Lord is going to stand up. All this stuff is going to pass away and say, all, behold, all things going to be brand new. I give God the glory. I give him all the glory. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you will take these words, that you will take heed in Jesus' name and, and run for your life. Because Jesus is coming back. He is coming back. He's on the way. It could happen at any moment. No man, no Jesus don't even know when he's coming. But he's coming. Get ready. And stay ready at all times. Let your focus be on God. Don't look to the, this is my right. Don't look to the right. Don't look to the left. Stay on that straight and narrow. Because the road to destruction, the word of God says is broad. It's, it's wide. And he said many going to be on that road to eternal hell. Hell is a real place. Some people think it's a joke. Hell is real. And guess what? I'm not going. And you don't have to go neither. Let me say, let me say this and I'm, I'm, I'm done. If you don't know Jesus in the part of your sins and you want to give your life to God right now, don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised to me. It ain't promised to none of us. If you don't know Jesus in the part of your sins, you can give your life to him right now. We're going to go to the book of Romans. Romans 10. Thank you, Jesus. Romans 10, 9 and 10. And it says, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Okay, we, we get it out of here then. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I, I need to just have my Bible open because all this right here. Thank you, Jesus. Romans 9 and 10. Okay. Romans 9, 9 and 10. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, Romans 10, 9 and 10. And it says that, it, that, that if thou shalt confess, that's you, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God have raised him from the dead, 
thou shalt be saved. Verse 10 says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So you, 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 you believe in your heart, you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, you are saved. Now run for your life. And don't look back. Keep going forward. Jesus is coming. I love you. Get in church. Go find you a church. As a matter of fact, ask the Lord. Say, Lord, lead me to a church. And he will. A, a church that the people are going to tell you the truth. A church where they ain't going to play with your, with your soul. A church where they're going to step on your toes. Then when, when they make you mad, then you will know this is where I'm supposed to be. If it be the Lord's will, I'll see you in the next video. Love y'all.